all right so welcome back to another video and in today's video i want to show you how to create this amazingly creative torn paper effect in affinity photo now let's jump straight into it now this image actually consists of two images only or two photos so we've got one portrait photo which i found on unsplash.com and the second picture is a picture of this torn piece of paper and this picture or image I actually found on Envato Elements. Now Envato Elements is a great platform for creators so if you want looking for stock videos, music, sound effects, photos etc you can find it on Envato Elements. Yeah it is amazingly useful so if you're interested just check out the link down below in the video description. The first thing what you want to do is create an empty document. So I created this one and it has got the um, document size of 2500 pixels times 2000 pixels. And what I want to do is import this portrait photo. So I'm going to select the layer, press Command C, go back to my document and press Command V. And I'm going to double click the thumbnail so I can reposition um, the portrait, let's say, a bit easier. And I think this looks about fine to me. So I'm going to press Command Zero to zoom into my uh, canvas. And that was step one. Now step two is to um, import our... Um, torn piece of paper but I don't want the background so I don't want the white background and the brown part I only want the uh, torn paper part let's say so I'm gonna use my flood select tool with a tolerance of about 11 to select the background and I think tolerance 11% is a bit too high because you can see that we've actually selected some of the white parts so I'm gonna lower my um, tolerance just a little bit maybe to 8 there we go this looks great and I'm gonna hold control and then I want to click on the middle part as well and now you can see we've got um, if I press Q you can see we've only selected the background and the brown part um, this is the exact opposite of what I want so I'm gonna press command shift I to invert my layer mask and now you can see that we've got only the um, white part selected now I can refine my selection just to make it a little better so I'm gonna hit refine and maybe change the preview to a black mod or to a white mod. Well, actually here you can very clearly see that we've got a very nice selection. So let's zoom out and I actually like this. Now I don't need these lines at the side. So I'm gonna uh, grab my background um, selection tool or adjustment brush. And I'm just gonna select or drag over the outside, let's say, because we don't want this line in our selection. And we're going to do the same on the other side. All right, there we go. Let's press Command Zero to zoom out. And yeah, I want to put this on a new layer. So I'm going to hit New Layer and then hit Apply. All right, so now we've got this, um, yeah, these torn pieces of paper. Now, what I want to do is import this photo into our document. So I'm going to select it and rename this torn paper or torn paper, I should call it probably, and then press Command C, go to our document and press Command V, and then simply position it like I positioned the woman. So I've double clicked the thumbnail and I just want to reposition the torn piece of paper, let's say. By the way, this video was brought to you by the Ultimate Brush Bundle. 100 plus realistic brushes that make photo manipulation fun for everyone. Add northern lights, clouds, stars, fireworks, smokes, lightning and so much more to your photos in just a click. Now 66% off. Link in the description. As you can see, it is way too wide and what I could do is um, yeah, just narrow the size, let's say, but this would shrink the torn piece of paper so the effect would be less interesting. So what I'm gonna do instead is grab M or press M to select my marquee tool and then select the top part of my torn paper, press Command X um, to cut, Command D to deselect and then Command V to paste. And now we've actually got both on a separate layer. So we've got the bottom part, which is this part, and then we've got the top part, which is this part. So now I can just position it how I want. So stretch it out a little bit. And for this one, I'm gonna turn it a little bit, maybe like so, stretch it out a little bit. This looks about fine to me. All right, so all the elements are in place. Now we only want to play with some adjustment layers, which is very easy. 
So there are two things that we want to do. First, we want to make it black and white. So only the part between the torn pieces of paper. And then we want to add some shadow to get some more yeah, realistic, creative effect, let's say. But let's start with the black and white part. Now, I want only in between the torn layers, let's say, I want it to be black and white. So what I'm going to do is press L, which is my lasso tool. And then in the context toolbar, I want to select my polygonal lasso tool. I'm gonna zoom in and I just want to make a very rough selection just exactly um, on my torn piece of paper, let's say. Take your time doing this because the better your selection, the better result you will get. And some pieces of paper are very thin. There we go, now we go to the bottom there we go so let's zoom out a bit and we're going to close the circle so now we have selected um, the torn piece of paper i'm going to select my portrait layer and i'm going to go to my adjustment layers and i'm going to hit on black and white and mm, this already starts to look like what we want but i want to enhance the effect a little bit so let's play a bit with the sliders so i'm going to decrease the reds a little bit increase the yellows to get a little more contrast and that looks good to me all right so that was the first part and now we want to add some shadow to our black and white image to create some extra depth to this image now this is actually pretty easy so i'm going to create a new layer i'm going to drag it below our torn um, paper layers and i want to select my um, old mask that I used as a black and white mask. So I'm gonna hold command and click on the mask and now you can see that I've got the mask selected. And I want to mask my pixel layer like this as well. So I'm gonna hit the mask icon and there we go. Now make sure you select your pixel layer and actually call this one shadow. You can press B on the keyboard to select your brush tool and just make sure you go to your basic brushes, a basic soft round brush, decrease the brush size by using the bracket keys, maybe reduce the opacity a little bit, so maybe some 58% opacity, and just brush in some slight shadows, um, two parts where you think there should be some shadow, so maybe like here, maybe at the bottom we want a little bit of shadow at this part, maybe near the nose, like here and maybe at the ear a little bit just whatever you like and maybe I'm gonna announce it a little bit so something like this and now if you think the effect is too strong you can always reduce the opacity just a little bit and this is the before and this is the after and that is how to create this amazingly creative torn paper effect in Affinity Photo. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something new and I see you in the next one. Peace.